Hi, welcome to Crochet Jewel channel. I'm going to show you how to make this cute crochet dinosaur. I used an eye hook and I used Baby Blanket Yarnspiration yarn. I used about 10 millimeter eyes, three different colors of yarn. You can make this bigger or smaller by going up or down on the hook size. Uh, I used an eye hook and it's about nine inches in the length and you can make this green or any type of color the pattern is down below okay so let's get started this is the yarn that i use for the blue and i got it from michael's the white yarn is velvet yarn but this is the yarn that i use for the dinosaur i used an eye hook you can go up or down on the hook size and in the magic circle i'm going to slip stitch and i'm going to create six single crochet for the body so this is for the body of the dinosaur. Grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops. If this is your first time for the magic circle or for stitches, I have links down below in the description to help you. You can also place your video in slow motion. There is a link down below for that too. So six all together. Pull it closed and you're going to work two single crochets in the first stitch and two single crochets in each stitch around for an increase and that will be 12 single crochet. I'm working this in a continuous round without the slip stitch so it looks smooth without any type of indentations. Now I'm going to work one single crochet this round and then in the next stitch work two single crochet for an increase and then repeat that around. So one and then two and then repeat until you get to the beginning. Now work one single crochet in the next two stitches and then work a two increase in the next stitch and then repeat that around one one and then two increase until you get to the beginning. Now I'm going to work one single crochet in each stitch around for a total of seven rounds and you can use your stitch marker so you can keep track of your rounds. Now I'm going to work one single crochet in the next two stitches and then work a decrease. So insert my hook in the next stitch, grab the yarn, insert my hook in the next stitch, grab the yarn, Yarn over and pull through all three loops and this will be a decrease and then repeat this around one single crochet in the next two stitches and then work a decrease. And then work around until you get to the beginning and then work one single crochet and then work a decrease and then you can fill the body up with your stuffing. And then you're working a decrease and then repeat that around one single crochet and then a decrease until you get to the beginning and you can use your stitch marker to keep track of your rounds. And then you're going to decrease in the next two stitches and repeat that until you get to the beginning and then slip stitch. And then pull through and then you're going to take your yarn needle and weave in your ends. And 
Okay, so this is for the head. I'm going to slip stitch into the magic circle and create six single crochet. And it's very similar to the body, but just a little bit more of increased rounds. So this is a repeat. So you're going to create your six single crochet in the magic circle. So now I'm going to pull it closed and work two single crochet in the first stitch and work in continual rounds without any slip stitches. And then work that two single crochet in each stitch around for an increase and you'll have 12 single crochet. Now you're going to work one single crochet and then work two single crochet increase in the next stitch and then repeat that around. So it'll be one, two, and then one, two until you get to the beginning. Okay, you're going to work one single crochet in the next two stitches. And then you're going to work two single crochet in the next stitch for an increase. Repeat that around. So it'll be one, one, and then two until you get to the beginning. Then work one single crochet in the next three stitches. And then work an increase of two. And this will be the pattern around is one in the next three stitches and then two increase. One, two, three, and then two. Now single crochet in each stitch around for a total of four rounds. Single crochet in the next two stitches. And then you're going to create a decrease. Insert your hook, grab the yarn. Insert your hook in the next stitch, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through all three loops. This is a decrease. And then you'll repeat that around till you get to the beginning. Single crochet in the next two stitches. And then work a decrease. This is all repeat here. Single crochet in the first stitch and then work a decrease, insert your hook, grab the yarn, insert your hook in the next stitch, grab the yarn, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then repeat that around, single crochet and work a decrease until you get to the beginning. I inserted my eyes on both sides and from the center about six rounds up and then I filled the head with the stuffing and now I'm going to create my de decreases around until I get to the beginning so I can close it. So insert your hook, grab the yarn, insert your hook in the next stitch, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through all three loops and then repeat that with your stitch marker so you know where your beginning is. Now I'm going to insert my hook and create a slip stitch, fasten off and weave in my ends.
I'm going to slip knot onto my hook and make the spine with a chain of 34. Yarn over and pull through until you have 34. I'm using the dark blue yarn. In the second chain from the hook, you're going to yarn over and create a double crochet cluster. Insert your hook, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over, insert the hook in the same hole and grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then four loops will be on the hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. And then chain one. And then in the second, skip two. And then in that third chain, insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull through for a slip stitch and then chain two and then create another cluster. Yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, insert the hook in the same hole, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, then yarn over, insert your hook again, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, then pull through all four loops, and then you're going to chain one and then repeat until you get to the end. So you're going to go to skip two and then go to the third and then slip stitch and then chain two and then repeat for another cluster. In the last chain, you're going to slip stitch and then that completes your spine and you will attach it to the body of the dinosaur. Okay, so this is velvet yarn, a little bit thinner than the other yarn, and I'm going to slip stitch into the magic circle and I'm going to create five single crochet. Now I'm going to pull it close and work two single crochet in each stitch around for an increase, which will give you 10 single crochet. So the first stitch gets two single crochet, and then the next stitch gets two single crochet. And then repeat that around for a total of 10. Now you're going to work one single crochet in the first stitch, and then work two single crochet in the next stitch for an increase and then repeat that around one and then two until you get to the beginning. And then work one single crochet in the next two stitches And then work two single crochet in the next for an increase and then repeat that around one one and then two until you get to the beginning slip stitch for this last round now i'm going to make the arms and the feet so make two arms two feet start with a slip knot onto the hook and chain two then work four single crochet in the second chain from the hook one two, then three, and then four all together. 
going to be a tight squeeze, but try to work your two single crochet in each stitch around for a total of eight. And like I said, you're going to make two hands and then the feet are going to be the same exact way, except for you're going to add a couple more rounds. So work that until you get to the beginning. You can use a stitch marker. And then you're going to work one single crochet in each stitch around for one round. This is for the hands. And then you're going to slip stitch. And then the hands are created. Make two of those. And then for the legs, you're just going to add one more round to make them longer. So add those and then slip stitch and your hands and your feet are complete. It's really easy to do. And then I'm going to create a slip stitch into the magic circle. And this is going to be for the tail. You're going to single crochet four all together. Okay, you're going to pull it close and then you're going to work two single crochet in each stitch around for an increase. So two in the first stitch and then two in the next until you have a total of eight stitches. Then work one single crochet after you turn it right side out. And then in the next stitch, work an increase of two single crochet. And then use your stitch marker and work that until you get to the beginning. One, two, and then one, two. So there's an increase. And then work one round of just single crochet. Two times. So you'll work this for a total of two times around. And then slip stitch and your tail is complete and you'll add your tail. Now I'm going to attach the head to the body here and I'm going to place it somewhat on the side when I attach it so it's facing forward and it looks like it's looking down. So I'll attach it somewhat to the front as well to secure it. Now I'm going to attach the tail to the back center and make sure it's centered right in the back so you can attach the spine. Now in the center of the head, take your yarn needle and attach the spine. Now you're going to go up and down on both sides for the spine to attach it all the way down to the tail and then the spine will be complete. Now you can attach the stomach in the center with your yarn needle just go around the entire part of the circle.
Now take your yarn needle and you can attach your feet and the hands right at the bottom and right at the top next to the stomach with your yarn needle. I hope you enjoyed this crochet dinosaur tutorial. My pattern is down below for this. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.